Hi, this is Igor from the Broadcast Company. Uh, we are now in Moscow in the office of Perspectiva Company, and Mike Efimov from Track will be now uh, my camera mate for today. Hi there. And uh, today we're going to present you another great product from the Broadcast. Okay, so let's look at uh, one of the most popular Dell broadcast devices. It's very small, and we call it Band Scanner 2. It is not connected to my laptop. It's actually uh, USB powered, so you can see it's connected by the USB uh, cable. It just sits on my laptop, and I use the Velcro tape uh, just uh, to have it. Uh, uh, basically, tape to my laptop. So uh, let's disconnect it and see what it's all about. So. It's a small antenna, so I can disconnect it. So we also supply, with this antenna, we also supply GPS antenna. It's magnetic, so you can put it on your car, uh, on the roof of your car. And here it is, um, pretty much solid metal casing, two year warranty. Uh, what we got here is a uh, few important LED status LEDs, um, your USB input, and the connectors. So we have uh, FM, antenna input and you can say use your car antenna we have a different profile we can have a different profile for this antenna for that antenna so you can define the controls uh, your uh, LPX input which is important if you want to uh, connect the monitoring output of your FM transmitter or say uh, FM processor like Dio Broadcast 6400 also we have um, of course um, GPS input for this antenna is all here and uh, of course the most important about this uh, nice product that allows you to do a uh, site surveys uh, to measure the coverage um, to uh, to see a ton of information about the station you are receiving or oversee or in charge of uh, so the most important is in our uh, control interface so let's look at our screen now Okay, so let's look at the interface. So the first thing when you run the program, uh, the remote control program, uh, this is where what you see, the compact view or the frequency you are tuned in right now. So, and in the uh, bottom side of the window, you can just type in any frequency uh, you want it to be tuned on. Just for example, this one. So you're now on different frequency. And uh, let's adjust it a little bit. Now it's correct, now you'll listen to a different station or you can save it as the presets and here you can uh, see all your presets uh, on a quick access buttons or on a list if you have more than five uh, stations. Uh, so let's go back to this one. Yeah. Here on the window we see all the most important parameters. So we see uh, your uh, bars for uh, for your signal level for MPX just in a small view so everything additionally when you start the program it does a quick sweep the scan over uh, and you see the result on this window so uh, all the most important uh, data with quick look uh, you can see here so and let's look on the pan scan so when you start it so you can run uh, a scan just when you click the scan button it takes just a few seconds to go through the, all the dial and uh, quickly set all the frequencies on the peaks of it will be a real uh, station uh, basically it will set up uh, uh, that on this frequency we have a station and if you click analyze it give you and make you analytics on every station on a dial uh, that you can see here. Just define the observation time. So here in this case, we have three seconds. We can add four. Anything that would be enough to uh, record your uh, RDS data. And then on the bottom window, you will see most important technical data about this uh, very frequency uh, that goes through analytics. So every frequency on the dial, uh, you will see the uh, the ref level, uh, what mode it, mode of stereo, the PI, uh, all the PTI information, PS, and dynamic metadata uh, of the current frequency and uh, the frequencies that gone through analytics, and all the AF data 
this is very useful uh, so we can scope the larger and then you can see uh, more information about that and then you can actually export it so uh, you save us so you can save it like just a graphic file with every, all this data like uh, just simple picture of the bitmap or you can save it uh, like I say a uh, band data and then later you can go to the band camp read, and then you can add this previously recorded file previously exported file and the, you may have these files collected from different locations and uh, you can uh, add here to the comparison and each of uh, each of the scan data each of the band data will be available here and you can define the color and so all the graphs would be on a different color so you can really compare uh, what was the situation in different locations what the scans what the dial looks in different locations so you can see like uh, other frequencies uh, leak from the outside and uh, anything other uh, important information that you want to you want to see here so let's go back and see that's the main data so uh, now we uh, can look at the any uh, station and so we can uh, we now set uh, the station on 105 and 70 and see now we can see here the RF level RF strength MPX level your MPX power level pilot level RDS level, bit error uh, level, and uh, left, right decoded, left plus right, left minus right, uh, parts of the signal measured here, multipath, and loudness. Loudness now in the form of uh, loudness uh, units by ABU uh, R128, or you can switch in the settings as ELKFS units, which is basically the same. And also you can um, reorganize here, so you can move, uh, say, the multipath after the loudness or uh, have it back. So you can organize here as, uh, as you want at your convenience. Next, so all we have here on the bars, you can make available on the graph. So here we see all that bars as a different colors and uh, here you can switch on and off uh, the information you need on this graph so if you don't want to see a pilot you just switch it off uh, click this check mark back and you have the pilot information here back um, we are now looking at the three minutes sliding window uh, but we can uh, make this up to two hours so i can i can grab it and, and and take it uh on the right uh up to the two hours of the sliding window most authorities uh do it within a 15 minutes but if you want to have more just just uh make it more uh clicking on the freeze and you have your graph uh graph data frozen so you can spend some time just looking on all the ups and downs on all the um, important peaks uh, that's uh, that's of interest for you and if you want to go uh, make it let it go just click the file and it start uh, measuring and put all the real thing uh, time data back again so uh, looks look uh, what's next uh, is course we have the MPX measurement and we have so our MPX histogram is here and uh, you can define so just the positive negative uh, a different uh, the different representation this is all available here so you can uh, switches in here MPX power on the graph separate graph uh, is here and uh, of course you can zoom it in and out so uh, all it's all it is available here so uh, uh, and next is your FFT so this your signal in real time with the pilot the RDS uh, so you can see left just left or right or the full MPX data it's all here in real time oscilloscope and you can look on the complete MPX data or just the pilot or just the RDS or left or right so all these different modes of representation is available here for you of course you can freeze it look at your peaks and liquefy and go 
uh, go uh, again in real time stereo. So and also different forms of representation. So we go to cloud, go back to ECG. So this is all uh, is here. And RDS. So all your important RDS groups are here in very comprehensive, uh, comprehensive manners. So uh, if, for instance, you go and broadcast in TMC RDS data, all this information will be available here. So all RT plus, we can decode RT plus, and you will see all these data in here. So and uh, so uh, the most important one of the most important uh, you know, functionality so far band scanner is an ability to run a measurement campaigns. So and this is where your uh, GPS input becomes handy. So we can do a campaign. So we can uh, put in several frequencies. So frequencies you are responsible for. So I just click new put the campaign name, a task name, I'll put the station name, what the frequency I want to do, and uh, at the time that my uh, band scanner will look at this station before switching to the next. So I can define here like four or five different frequencies and the loops through this uh, frequency is uh, delaying on each of frequencies for uh, two, three, four, five seconds, just enough to record all the parameters in RDS and switching to the next. In the campaign duration, we can define how many hours. So I drive around for say like four hours, three hours. So I can start and it will loops through the, uh, through the uh, presets of the, our frequencies here and record all these parameters along with the position, the GPS coordinates along with the actually speed and all the other important information. You can see uh, all the left, right, RDS, MPX pilot will be also recorded uh, from the status. Uh, as you can see on the status, this will be recorded in a campaign. You can also, uh, instead of frequency, uh, you can run a PI campaign. So it will uh, then, uh, looking at the PI, will go through the AF frequencies of your stations and just uh, so like you driving between two cities and uh, while well, you have different uh, frequencies in these cities but uh, you have the same PI so your uh, band scan will just automatically switch to the alternative frequency of that very station and uh, will keep the measurement within like uh, a same station as it should be and so you can define several PIs in here uh, or call signs and it will loop through all these stations as well as uh, it's in a frequency company. And then as a result, so uh, if we go to log view, uh, so, and we have here our all of RTS and other summary data. So in a GPS view, and we actually can import, so we can save our campaign and then import this campaign here. So. Now we see a GPS track. So how we moved uh, through our measurements. So uh, where we was, with which speed, uh, our altitude. So we so how high we are, with our frequency, and if I click uh, in our lower side window, so our ref pilot, our DS MPX level. There's all signals to the each point along the way. But I'm saying, okay, so this is quite um, useful. So we can look into this say track, but we have a magic Google Earth button. So and when I click this button, what happens? So let's see where we are. Well, we're actually flying to Caspian Sea and it's a Baku. Uh -huh. So now we see how we are in measurements, how our measurements looks into reality uh, and relative to the buildings, relative to the, uh, our, you know, the mountains or whatever is around. Now you understand uh, where we was. So, and if we click on the particular uh, measurement result, so you see now, um, we see all the information about exact that point, including RTS metadata. So all this are pretty much of in uh, very very big value for the uh, for the device, and this is actually 
makes us uh, a possibility to do our campaigns and understand uh, how our signal are in the territory we're about, how our coverage uh, in the spots uh, we are broadcasting. And if you measure in uh, several station, this all these several stations will be displayed here as well. So all our points will be here uh, in, in will be all the frequency displays are here as well. So it is uh, all important uh, to mention so that when we measure our station, one particular station, uh, we actually uh, when we have all these uh, data, all, all the graphs, uh, measured, we have a print button. This very important, interesting uh, functionality as well. So all the data we measured about this particular station, it's actually can be collected in 10 pages of information. And we can print it on a paper to save it as PDF file. And we have uh, our in forms of our graphs, our histogram, our MPX power data, um, our FFT, uh, our oscilloscope data, it's all will be saved in this, uh, in this uh, report about this particular station. But additionally, including the, the dial data, so all the peaks of the stations in here will be added to this report, and our analytics about the station surrounding the station you are mirroring will be also included into this report. So this is uh, very important if you want to send this data to someone, have it saved, uh, as a report about particular uh, about particular uh, station, and it also is very important. So let's go back to the compact view. Is how you do listen to the station. So to listen to the station, just play the button. I see my, I see my, I see my. And you can redirect your audio to any output of the PC. So even if you have audio over IP outputs, you can send your audio there. Uh, and additionally, there is a record button. So if you press this record button, so all your current real-time measurement will be recorded as the file on the hard drive. And so you can save the, your current uh, measurement data in real-time on a hard drive. And then when you go back home, you can replay this data with the, all the technical information. So uh, it will be on the graphs and everything uh, recorded within this file, including the audio. So uh, this is also a very important and useful feature of the, of the band scanner too. And because you're actually doing in the move, uh, your measurements on the move, you actually uh, can Define antenna profile. So, uh, if you want to use, uh, say, a big magnet based antenna for your car, you can define here up uh, the factor for this antenna, the everything, all technical data, and save and just switch as the presets uh, for uh, for different uh, for different antennas after. Also, in tuner, you can define your tuning range um, because. Band scanner uh, can measure not from 87, it actually can do uh, in 70s, so it actually can go low for Japanese band, so we are pretty much universal uh, you know, in this device. It's also very important to say that actually you can switch uh, to the MPX input, so and that's, uh, that's how you can uh, connect a monitoring output of your transmitter or uh, FM processor and measure the output of these devices also here on the screen so we can switch it to real time and in real time you actually can compare what you send uh, on air on what you receive from the monitoring output of the transmitter. Well, I think I'm covered the most important uh, features of the band scanner too. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer and um, like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.